you know, again, small thing. So if it comes back, we'll watch this cutscene. Might as well. The elders once said, "Time is a living, breathing thing. Powerful, kind of like a monkey. Oftentimes cruel. Also like a monkey. <laughs> it can humble the strongest army, shape mountains. It's really, to will, time's got a lot in common with monkeys. Turn entire oceans to dust. Yet again, one in the same. But time itself is not free from jeopardy. There are those who seek to control it, corrupt it." Change it to suit their dark will. And if that ever happens, the universe will need a true hero to stop it. Are what you ready? Who the? Who the? Who's this guy? I'm so. That's like an E3 trailer. Was that like? I. I'm gonna go ahead and retroactively predict that that was the E3 trailer, like the reveal trailer. <laughs> it was. <laughs> I'm so smart. I got, listen, I've been, I've been so obsessed with video games for like my entire life. I got a nose for this shit now. I was like, that is such E3 energy. <laughs> it's like that was made for E3 and then they slapped it on the game later. Anyway, um, how's the, how's the audio sounding for everybody? Too loud, too quiet? I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, the music's playing pretty consistent. This is like a reasonably loud track. So I think that that, this is, pretty good for balancing sounds great so it says it sounds good I uh, I just adjusted my own uh, voice monitor volume so I should be able to hear myself better um, okay people are saying it sounds good oh I'm very excited also I'm almost this is just extra good vibes right now um, because on, on, not only are we about to play a game that I've just been excited to get to for like actual months now, uh, but also I haven't, I'm playing this with a new controller. Um, this is not sponsored. This is not sponsored, but, um, I did, I bought a Colorware DualSense. Um, and I, I, I fully customized it. It's got, it's got like a, like a cotton candy pink shell, um, and it's got like white face buttons and a white like bottom bit um and it is so cute i posted it on twitter uh it's it's one of the most recent twitter images i posted so you can go and look at it on my twitter if you missed it but i'm oh i'm so excited about it uh i've been using it i used it to finish the last of us part two the other day uh and that was that was a fun time i love it and it's it's good the dual sense is officially my favorite game controller by the way it is such a good controller. Like, even if even if it were not attached to the PS5, I would just use this anywhere. Like on like on the PC, I I'm gonna use DualSense now. Like I'm using it for PS3 games now. Like it's it's that good. It is it's extremely good. The form factor, like even without all the funky like trigger and haptic features, just the form factor of it is my favorite controller. It feels so good. So I'm so happy to have one that is full penny core. Also, yeah, Alexa just linked the image in chat uh, if you wanna if you wanna see what the controller actually looks like. I'm so excited about it. Um, do the trigger gimmicks even add anything? Yes. No, I I kid you not. The all of the marketing mumbo jumbo about the Dual Sense with the haptic feedback and the adaptive triggers genuinely are so cool. They're genuinely really cool. And the, the haptics don't do much for like gameplay function, but the triggers do. Like the, the triggers are starting to actually be utilized in like actual gameplay mechanics in ways that triggers like have never been used before. So like, yeah, they're pretty cool. Like th there's some real hype behind it. I, I, I am getting a little bit fatigued from like all the new PS5 games like talking about and and with the new DualSense adaptive triggers like in all their gameplay demos is that like I'm starting to feel the fatigue a little bit but like I also I understand why it's like a cool new feature the console just came out and they do really cool stuff um anyway that's neither here nor there I uh, can we are we <laughs> I, I almost just asked chat can we start the game as if it's up to you as if it's your call and not mine. This is me. 
I decide whether we start the game. Oh, we can't? Huh. <laughs> she doesn't pull. Next <laughs> point end stream. That 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 shit tickles me. Every time I see it now, I can't. That gets me every single time. I love that idea so much. How would I use it? How would I use exclamation point end stream? I I feel like okay. I feel like one day, one day I'm gonna crack it. Like one day I'm gonna break that idea and I'm gonna have it and I am not going to advertise it. I am just going to go live one day with the stream title and the notification announcement being exclamation point end stream. And everyone will know what it is and come rushing in <laughs> to immediately end the stream. <laughs> <laughs> like it would literally it would be so funny so funny um no i ge no genuinely though i want to i want to figure out a way to, to use that in a way that wouldn't immediately end a stream it would actually be like fun like like kind of like a risk or reward kind of thing anyway 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 i've stalled for too much not intentionally. I'm just having fun. You know what? I like hanging out with y'all. This is a fun time. Uh, but let's do it. I, I've waited long enough. Let's do it. Uh, we're gonna do medium. It's right down the middle. Uh, gray rectangle. Holy moly. If the gray rectangle is barely visible on my actual TV, then it looks like I'm playing ghost video game in the top. So no, I'm putting it... Uh, I'll put it like... Like, right there. Yeah, that's good. That's fine. Um, uh, uh, you haven't seen this. Nah, I, I, I tested this game at some point. All right. I know I've, I've lied to you. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a fucking fraud. It's okay. I didn't pay attention to the cutscenes or the dialogue or anything. Have I ever told you about my son? <laughs> Remarkable boy. Quite smart. Just me and the cotillion. He was born in a robot factory in the Solana galaxy. Oh, it's Clank. To be precise, he was created much farther away. Oh, okay. My son's name is XJ0461, but the universe knows him as Clank. Clank has a dad. Clank's got a daddy. That's Charles Martinet. Oh, that's so good. Ah, hey! My arch nemesis. Not so smart now, are you? Sir, the Zoni are inquiring about our progress. Ah, how much longer must we pretend to be friends with those twits? Sire does not remember. You must fix. Yes, I'm fixing. I'm fixing. Stand by for sister board scan. I don't know if this is just me wanting to kind of like harp on tools of destruction a little bit. I feel like the presentation of this cutscene is already like an upgrade. Just like the quality of like the animation and the the lighting and everything here. If we could take but a peek at the chamber. No, or this chamber. Chamber is for Sire only. Who's Sire? Uh, and I think it's time our partnership came to an end. Oh, that was quick. Say hello to... Not the hyper They're pre-rendered. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. I was going to say this does look pre-rendered. Bring me <laughs> the hyper that's, that's the one line I remember from this intro. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> it is pretty loud, actually. I should have mentioned the equipment is especially susceptible to sonic weaponry. Backup generator activated. Did someone call my name? Whoa! Stop him! Here, go, here goes the little guy. Not that brute again. 
Okay, is this game still 60 frames per second? Yes, it is! <laughs> so that's interesting. Every single Ratchet and Clank game is 60 frames per second, except uh, Into the Nexus, I think, is not. Um, well, then I guess uh, 2016 also isn't. Uh, but now it kind of is, if you're playing on PS5. It's 60 now. So, Into the Nexus is the only exclusively 30. Oh, yeah. Get those boxes. I'm, I'm talking mostly mainline games. Uh, so, this game also still doesn't have in level subtitles, which is a little unfortunate. Continues to be unfortunate. Good. You're safe for now. Where am I? What is Doctor Nefarious doing here? I'll explain everything as soon as you're safe, sir. But right now, we need to calibrate your ocular response process. Oh, I remember. Yeah, I remember this. Scanner on your left. Bop. Good. Well, actually, I mean, I I played this bit recently. Of course, I remember this specifically, but. All right. Look at the scanner above you. It's Philbo from Bucks Snack. So it is. How do you feel about starting off with Clank? I mean, it makes sense, right? Like, like this is a very... This is a very, um... Kind of natural way to do this game after the ending of Tools, right? Like, they leave you off with the cliffhanger of like, Oh, Clank got taken away. And then in, uh, in Quest for Booty, they reveal it's nefarious. So, in this one, it's like, okay. How does he get out of this shit? Like, what's going on? Let's let's catch up with Clank since you since you just got a full game of Ratchet Sans Clank. Like, let's start with Clank. <laughs> and you what? Oh no! Oh, yeah. Yeah, all this funky shit. Okay. Oh, so Clank, um... Oh, they gave Clank, like, a... Like a double jump in this game. <laughs> Finally. Finally, whoa. Clank's wrong, sir. They belong to Dr. Nefarious. Oh, that's so satisfying, right off the bat. Just... Give us a big wall of crates. Use your tiny fist. Tiny fist moments. Here we go. This game looks really good. Yeah, yeah. The, the presentation of this right off the bat is like... Um... Yeah, the presentation. This is already like a big step up. I like. I love the, the the art design of some of this. Like, I assume this is all like Zony technology. Um, I love it. I love it. This is all, like, they had like kind of Zony looking stuff in in tools as well. But like, like it, it just feels so much more like. It, it it just feels so much more cohesively realized in this game. Reminds me the most of like going commando with all the blue. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Uh oh. Don't scramble the brain waves hypersonically. How? What do I? Oh, oh, duh. I. Cannot wait to see all the funky stuff they do with like time manipulation in this game. If that's gonna be the basis for like 
puzzles and set pieces and shit. Like, oh my god. They're gonna love the clank bits. Yeah, yeah, I'm really interested in what they're gonna do with the clank puzzles in this one. This game is the best clank sections in the series, no question. I'm very excited. Part of, I feel like I kind of remember what they were, but not in any like cohesive way. I I cannot believe they made Clank actually like feel good to play in this one. Like it actually feels good to play as Clank right now. He doesn't feel like ridiculously slow or like like uh compromised in mobility yeah finally he runs yeah he's not just like this is not his default walking speed <laughs> he goes he books it he's a little guy booking it now sir they locked me in keep moving and don't let them anywhere near the chamber i'll destroy the computer this will do the trick Sir, it's not working! Hi, Kronks. Thank you so much. Go ahead. Jump! <laughs> okay, jump. Dr. Nefarious... I should have known you were behind this. Where have you taken me? You don't recognize it? This is your home! The Great Clock! A marvel of <laughs> God, I love the fairies so much. Engineered by the brightest Sony in all of existence and constructed in the exact center of the universe! Give or take 50 feet. <laughs> I'm curious. What lie did you tell the Zomi in your quest? The animators had an absolute vengeance. blast with the fairies. Do all this trouble for mere vengeance? They say I make a maniacal. Let's just <laughs> say it's all in the past. Lawrence! Lawrence! Ready the orb of gratuitous immobilization. <laughs> gratuitous immobilization. <laughs> Shall I prepare the mnemonic station again? No. I have a better idea. But, sir... Patience, Lawrence. We have all the time in the universe. Oh, good. Good intro. Hell yeah. That's so good! That's such a good little intro. So that that last cutscene is a really good intro precursor. That's awesome. We have all the time in the universe. I fucking love Space. that. Space, it's huge. So <laughs> huge, in fact, that if you lost your car keys in it, they would be almost impossible <laughs> to find. <laughs> Luckily for Ratchet, Captain Copernicus L. Quark was on the case. His mission, rescue the Lombax's one and only friend. Yep, without Clank, Ratchet was alone in the universe. Look at this fuzzy guy. Alone. 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 <laughs> you realize this ship has an ejector seat, right? Sorry. I guess you could say <laughs> I'm a little antsy in my pansy at the thought of getting back into the hero business. <laughs> yep. These wild stallions have been in the stable too long. Oh, does he have right. revealed well, arms? Just keep your eyes peeled. Talon says this sector's crawling with mercenaries. Rest easy, my friend. My vigilance is both eternal and peripheral. Warning. Warning. Oh no, it's it's just a it's just a lighter shade of his suit. Hang on. Shifting to evasive maneuvers. Uh-oh. You gotta dodge it. You gotta you gotta press L2 to do a barrel roll to dodge it, Ratchet. Will you shut up? We are not gonna die! A billion! Engage 
<laughs> I, uh, Ratchet's a little like he's a little saucy in this game so far. I like it. He's got some sass. <laughs> you shut up! Fuck! <laughs> I'm angry, so I'm gonna say piss. Is what he says. What's happening here? I know. So much for clean underwear. Fucking gross. This seems like some sort of crack in time. Where the heck are we? <laughs> it's me. Perhaps a leisurely stroll through this uncharted jungle will solve the mystery. Uncharted? Wait a second. No, that's another one. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's another thing that they do. Or no, that's another thing that somebody else does. Insomniac. You know, this, this game, that line was officially when Insomniac and Naughty Dog stopped working together closely. Like, that was... Planet. Captain Quark realized his rescue mission would inevitably pit him against the most terrifying. There's been bad blood all. between them ever since. Nature also, oh my terrible. god, I love the new. I love that you can do the wrench throw now without having to fucking like actually stop. That feels so much better. That's so nice. Peak wrench throw, yeah. Well, personally, I feel like peak wrench throw is uh, is is in 2016 when you can do it while you're strafing, or I don't, I don't know. Actually, know if that comes earlier. That might come in Nexus, but I, I like it when you can do it while you're strafing. But um, even even then, this is still awesome. Um, much better than having to like just stop in your tracks completely. Okay, R1 is still the shoot button. Oh, I want to check. Are there any controls? Control, yeah, control options. If you like third or first person shooters, these controls let you move and shoot with both left and right sticks. What does that mean? Wait, shit. This classic. Oh, that's cool. What a shooter. Oh, oh, interesting. Whoa, that's weird. So, oh, essentially, okay, this is just lock strafe, essentially. Uh, nope, no thank you. Uh, go default. Default. Thank you very much. Works for me. Alright, let's go. He's been standing in this fire for, like, five minutes. Ratchet, my ass is burning. Looks like someone's having broiled ass for dinner. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, already I'm like, I'm just not gonna follow what clearly is the main path here. I have to. <laughs> so did you just said yum? I feel like that single-handedly. Just such an interesting way to respond to that. Also, I noticed, um, I think the cutscenes were a bit, were like a bit too loud because they were like up here. I feel like I'm gonna take everything down just to like, just a, just a tad. Just a tad. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. I'm comfortable with that. Let's see. That'll do it. Ba -ba -ba. Hi there, Obsolete Chris. Just missed the intro of this game. It's my favorite entry in the future series. Hope you enjoy it. I so far, oh my god, so far this is already a step up. I don't want to. I don't want to come in here with that kind of energy, like pointing out really like arbitrary things just to like, just to say it's better than tools. But like, I don't know. It's just like immediately you can kind of tell the vibes of this one are a little different. Even just like the presentation polish of this game feels like like a step up already. This rain is gonna be murder on my spandex. 
Um. Okay. What's the? Look at the. Ooh. Oh. This is big. Jesus. It's pretty linear still, but but it's, that's that's kind of big. Um. This feels like. Oh. Okay. Feels like we'll be coming back here. Cause then that didn't activate with anything. Whoa! Look at him go! Oh shit! Quark! Quark, you absolute madman! What goes? You get you get one complimentary spank for that one, my. I'm. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me tonight. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> he did something impressive. <laughs> Those are the rules. Latch on to winch crank. Damn. That reminds me of my best friend, uh, Binch Clank. Who I miss so much. Quark, we have to save him. Do you do that to people in general? Consensually, yeah. All right, let's go. <laughs> What's the plan, anyway? Well, where there are bridges, there are people. Where there are people, there are ships. You see where I'm going with this? Hey, that's pretty smart. You're gonna make a great sidekick. Look at this beautiful... Where there are people, there are ships. <laughs> That culture. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Whoa. Quark, Quark, no. Are you seeing this? Something is seriously wrong with this planet. Uh, it's like time is all not working. It's, it's like there's a kind of crack in time. Oh, that like that sounded like almost musical for a second. It was like pop. I'm bop, I'll find bop, bop. way around. You gonna be all right with those things on the loose? Please, I can handle a few tiny creatures. <laughs> Ratchet and Clank future time not working. Yeah. Oh, I love I love those. Love this blue filter. <laughs> Make it blue. <laughs> That's a, yet again, a Disney Blu-ray commercial reference. Those of you who are back in the, back, uh, back when Blu-ray was first, like, new on the scene, you may remember that. Why am I fucking, why am I not using this? Well, I just realized I'm not using my weapons at all. Or weapon, I guess. Weapon. You see the size of those things? They were horrible. Come on, maybe there's a hotel around here. Yeah, no, I, I get. My arch nemesis. I get the sense there would be, around you know this environment. This is I, you know I did this for a bit, but I just want to take a second. This is so pretty. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this world design. Look at that! It's a it's a Marvel's Avengers sky beam. They got a Marvel's Avengers superhero movie sky beam in here. Concerned for his compatriots' well-being, Captain Quark's noble sidekick ninja leaps from stone to stone. Below him, six deadly inches of crystal blue water. <laughs> have uh, we? Uh, we have never been like. As far as I know, we've never been like. Actively allied with Quark in a mission in one of these games before. I think this is like one of the first like notable times where like we're just kind of like chill with each other right now, and like working together on something. I mean, up your arsenal got pretty close, uh, but there was like a little bit of an antagonizing between the two of them in that one. Now that there isn't a little bit of that here, but it's it's more like sort of buddy cop ribbing. Whoa! Oh, previews! Oh, I remember these! Oh, 
Each weapon can be modified with any construction. These are very good. Oh shit, I'm so excited about this. If you can dream it, Constructo can deliver it. Now available in three flavors. The Constructo Bong Glove, Constructo Pistol, and Constructo Shotgun. God, I I get the feeling we're about to realize that just like so much love went into this game. Like I like I really like I like fully get the sense that like this game was just cared for like through and through. Are we gonna is it the same one? Yeah. So I actually I'm gonna watch this again because I feel like I was not actually paying attention to what that was. Each weapon can be modified with any constructor approved of Oh fire, ammo type, specialty triggers. If you can dream it, Constructo can Oh, that's actually really fucking interesting. Three flavors. The Constructo Bonglove. Constructo pistol and Constructo shotgun. So it's like, so so it's like a it's like a modular weapon. Back, Chief. Why settle for one type of mayhem when you can have them all? This incendiary glove works with any Constructo pre modification. That is so cool. Yeah, I and mean, we'll go for it. You got a deal. Coming soon for both of these. That's interesting. Never, never seen them do like a like a weapon preview. Like <laughs> just a little silhouette. Who's this guy? That's it's a little gross. Um. All right. Constructo bomb. Find and install constructo mods to change this weapons. That is so neat. That's neato. Okay. Can we, can we blow this up instead of turning it? No. Okay. We we can't say the take that culture. The crouching kitten jump kick of sorrow. Raise that bridge while I'm still limber enough to deliver it. How is how are Quark's kicks more powerful than our bomb that we just did? I take offense to that personally. Constructo is one that I wouldn't mind seeing return in the future. Good ideas. Yeah, I, I'm I'm honestly surprised that like that's a this game exclusive thing that seems like a that seems like something they would want to kind of like naturally progress like, like I, I feel like having like some kind of like more fleshed out weapon modifying system in in future games would be really cool i really hope they have something like that in rift apart what seems to be the problem citizen we were fishing up the river when they attacked. Quark, stay here. I'll go save the children. You got it, sidekick. Smart thinking. I'll just stay here and hold the fort. Okay. Save him. Wow, thanks, mister. My mom's over there. No problem. Oh, we gotta locate the missing children. Can we, uh, can we track this one? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Three fine going children are lost and in danger. Save them and return to the mother. All right, can we see them like on the map or anything? Nope. Okay, this is just full on. You gotta do this yourself, but although I guess again it's like pretty linear anyway, so assume it's gonna be rather straightforward. Let's go. Like little koalas. Yeah, they're pretty cute. It's a cute, uh, cute creature design. Looking kind of like Sid the Sloth. See me that way No matter what I do Okay, listen Don't Don't do the fucking saying penny With the ellipses behind it thing When I don't immediately realize something That is so Needlessly condescending <laughs> It's a new game <laughs> gave me, people gave me like two seconds to figure that out before they started being like, Why aren't you seeing it? No one likes to say no one likes to show up. 
I mean, it's a, it's a, it's functional. It's purely functional. What, you want me to not get this done? Your health is full. I don't... I don't really... I don't know if they need to keep telling me that one. I, 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 get, I get that people are, are enthused about this game and so are probably going to be a little bit more inclined to, like, jump to giving me tips and stuff, but, you know, just please, please try and remember, like, the general... I, I mean, again, familiarize yourself with the chat rules and also just, like, general etiquette of, like, just, 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 you know, I, like, I, I, I've been playing video games literally my entire life. Like, I, I can figure stuff out pretty, pretty competently, generally. Sometimes I miss stuff. It's just, like, gonna happen. But... You know, just like, just give, give me some time. Okay. Are you gonna follow me? Or are you, are you waiting for me to like... Is there anything I haven't done yet? You're like, he's, he's doing like a scared animation. So it feels like uh, he's waiting for something. I miss somebody? Or, or no, is this, or is this celebrate? Oh, I have to just walk back to him. I guess. I think my mom's over here. I think your mom's over there too. Actually, I think I saw some some weird old lady that looked kind of like your mom. Oh my god, the way I just said your mom just like I still have doing your mom. <laughs> I just thought of fucking Ray William Johnson and I hate it. No, I'm a fake Lomax. Actually, yeah, I'm an imposter. Oh, what's this? What's this? Hey, Chief. You just picked up yes! Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, this is... Oh, neato. So I assume we got... Oh... Oh, our pistol is Constructo. This is so cool. This is so cool. Okay, so we have Coil. Supposed to fire high velocity rounds, annihilate the opponents with the blast of supercharged photons. Oh, so we can just... Oh, so it's like a... It can be used to modify your Constructo weapons. We can do it at any time. Holy shit, that's so cool. I am going to switch back to the other one, though. I like the other one a little better. That's so awesome! Oh, man. Wait. Oh, wait. There's a paint option. <gasps> oh! <laughs> baby mode! Baby mode! Pacifier! Hell yeah! Oh, on brand. Let's do it. That is so good. Is there, um... Oh my god, I'm freaking out. This is awesome. Oh, can we... I was, I was really hoping we could customize the armor, too. We can in Rift Apart, coming June 11th for the PlayStation 5. Y'all, I'm... Oh, this game is already so good. I'm so excited about this. I'm so excited to be playing this one. All right. Oh, man. This is, so, this is such good vibes for me right now. Hey, Kate, what's going on? Hey, Black Cat, what's going on? I've been debating buying this and damn it, that paint top didn't just make the decision for me. Yeah, go for it. It was a very highly regarded game. Can't go wrong with it, I feel like. Woohoo! Oh, so Penny would love to be sponsored by Sony. Service, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not. The whole uh, Rift Apart coming June 11 thing is a is a bit of a running joke, but I like AJ. I wouldn't mind being sponsored. I would fucking like Sony hit me up. Something must have happened to the Sony. Open the door. I'm a I'm a big PlayStation Vanessa, fan girl. So what are you doing out here? The Zyphoids are back. There must be something wrong with the timekeeper. Not in front of the outsiders. Quickly, we must head into the village. Who? Who is this guy? Wait, who's that voice? Oh, I know These I know are him. The least of our worries right now. Well, one of the elders spotted Lord Vorsalon's warship over the falls. 
I, f I feel like I know that guy from somewhere. We have to move everyone into the village. I don't I don't know if it's Stitch. I don't know if it's Stitch. I, it's close, but I don't know if that's what I'm thinking. Oh, that's gonna bother. You know, you know what? It could just be me remembering this game. You know, like like remembering his voice in this game. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna freak out about it if I can't if I can't think of a name anytime soon, but <laughs> So when it works with content creators for an Xbox franchise, I'm honestly shocked there aren't more studios drowning Penny and Streamer swag right this moment. I am always open. <laughs> Just, I'll just say it. I'll say that much. I, uh, I, yeah, I, I haven't, I haven't got a lot of, like, sponsorship opportunities and stuff going on. Not that I'm, like, overtly complaining, but, like, you know, that's, that's something I feel like I've seen a lot of, like, fellow content creators in my space kind of, like, take advantage of in a way that, like, I feel like I haven't fully been... Like, like, I, I, I don't know, like, okay, like, notoriously... I've gotten... Okay, so I did one sponsored stream. I did a sponsored stream for Torchlight 3 not a while back. Um, my experience with that one was actually a little bit of a disaster. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. Um, not the game itself. The, uh, the... Just the whole situation. I'm not gonna get into it right now. Um, but... I've had a couple other offers that, like, I unfortunately had to skip out on just given, like timing, convenience reasons, that kind of thing, but, like, I haven't gotten that many. And I'm wondering if, if it's, like, if I'm not, like, marketing myself properly, or, like, is, like, is there is some sort of, like, key to making that kind of thing happen more consistently that I'm, like, not necessarily doing super actively. I don't know. I just, um, it's, again, this is not, like, a complaint. I'm just, uh, you know. Hey, Penny. I really hope you enjoy a crack in time. Teresa cheat code you can enter in this game to get the single best skin in Ratchet and Clank history. You should totally try it. Uh, what is it? I don't, I don't know what it is. Thank you so much for the donation, though. Penny loves to drink cologne. Where did that come from? The ship's trashed. There's no way we'll be able to repair it. Ah, but the Zoni can. Meet me at the Temple of Zan whenever you're ready. I will explain. You only get sponsored if you don't think Cools feels. You know what? That makes sense. Crazy now. They're hive minds. They can't function on their own. An outsider's here. Ha <laughs> ha! Me about Twitter. Am I right? What an unusual day we are having. Yes. Nothing out of the ordinary happening here. Yeah. In memory of Zan Gribnak, father, friend, and chief of the Fungoids. <laughs> Looks like this guy was some sort of hero. It looks it looks like Whoa! Oh shit, we get um Oh we get we get new weapons mid-level now. That's interesting. Is it just because you got a right to protect yourself? Is it just because we got enough bolts to get it, so it unlocks when we get the amount of bolts we need? That's interesting. Using the sonic eruptor around female xenogoats is not advised as they are quite insistent. Ew! Don't tell me that. I'm not gonna want to buy it. <laughs> don't, don't give me a gun that's like a creep. <laughs> uh, all right, let's watch the preview. The sonic eruptor. This genetically mutated Xenago is the perfect weapon for crowd control of a destructive nature. Firing the weapon at a group of enemies will unleash a deadly and destructive mating call. Grab and kick. Oh. Try squeezing the trigger when the Xenago's lungs are full. The Sonic Eruptor. Available only at Grumpnet. Oh, oh, I see. They were right, saying... What can we do you for? They were saying the female xenogotes were quite insistent. It's it's literally just 
It's a mating season joke. I understand. Okay. That's a, that's a, it's the horny weapon. Yeah. Um, I feel, I don't know if I want to get it right. I think I might save it for Mr. Zircon, honestly. He's going to add just like a whole different layer to the audio experience of this game, which I will say so far is I'm already kind of feeling like it's at risk of getting a little overwhelming if I don't properly manage the volume levels here. Um, because there's a lot of in-level dialogue. And a lot of in-level dialogue that specifically is not fucking subtitled. So I don't I don't ever feel like it can like uh like like I, I, I feel bad like doing commentary, like doing my job playing this game sometimes, because I feel like I'm talking over a lot of stuff. Not only do I feel like I'm talking over it at the expense of the audience, but also like at the expense of myself. Like I'm missing like context and, and that kind of stuff. So um we'll see. Can I have your autograph? No. Gold. Gold. I saw that. I saw that in my periphery. Oh, hold on. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's our, uh, that's our first gold. I feel like that's the first one that's been there. You know what? I feel like there was a path around here that I almost took and I didn't take. And I kind of want to see if I can... Wait. Oh, also, uh, someone just sent a $1 donation, so it wasn't alerted, but uh, they sent a $1 donation with the cheat you code. You saved Anessa's children! <laughs> Uh, it was, uh, up, right, down, left, triangle, square, X, circle, R3. Jesus. Okay. Up. Sorry, I'm gonna try that again. Okay. Wait. Wait. Up, right, down, left, triangle, square, X, circle, R3. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Hel hello? Is this, is this Yakuza? <laughs> We start playing Yakuza. Yakuza Ratchet. How are you? Yakuza like a Lombax. What the fuck? I'm into it. With the pink gun and everything now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. Oh, by the way, I never um. Oh, I'm gonna be going into this menu a lot now. I never switched this to baby mode. Angela special. Huh? Angela, we know that's a name. We know that's something we know. What? Like Angela? Is she real? Are girls real? Did they make girls real again? What the hell? Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is a girl? I was I was gonna say look in the mirror, but I don't actually know if you're a girl or not. So I feel like that. I feel like I'm playing like social Russian roulette by making that joke. <laughs> Like that, like, that could either be, like, extremely validating or, like, it's either extremely validating, extremely mundane, or, like, just extremely fucking hurtful and offensive. <laughs> I don't, I don't know which is which. Oh my god, that's funny. Oh my god. I, you know, I, I really, I kind, I kind of wish they, they kept the whole press R three to bring up the map thing, cause like, I was enjoying that. Also, I'm going back to see if I, if there was, if, if I was right in that I, I, there was like a, like a bonus path or something that I, maybe like a secret path that I almost went down. It was near that, that kid that was standing on like the little, little incline. I don't know if that was just like a, like another way back or something. Um. 
We'll see, we'll see. If I can even remember where he is. It's over here, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I remember now. Because it was the... Uh, yeah, no, this skin is great, by the way. Is this some... Can we, like... <laughs> oh, Bancho Ratchet. Alistair. Oh my god, you can play as the dead. You can play as Dr. Nefarious. What? What? Oh, Mustachio's back. These are cool. These are good skins. I'm sticking with this one for now. I really like this. <laughs> I'm, I might not play the whole game as this, uh, if there's like a customizable armor set that I can go like pink mode with. Yeah, yeah, this little path right here. What is this? Gold! Haha, <laughs> I knew it. I knew I saw this. I was like, there's something down here. I like these, I like these animations. I'm into the gold animations. Let's go. So <laughs> his hair looks like a bicycle seat. Oh, be nice. I, you know, I will say I am sorely missing Clank right now for the mobility. It's, it's so funny that right now, in terms of like Clank versus, virtues, Clank versus Ratchet mobility, uh, Clank is the fast boy right now in this game. Wait, does Clank, or does Ratchet have a little... Ratchet has a little earring. Has he always had that? Oh no, that's probably the fucking skin. Yeah, that's the skin. <laughs> that's the skin. He has, a little, he has a little earring. I thought that was like a new thing that they added in this game. Can stand, see me away. I got um. I got that song still my I played on my pre-screen. You're missing him like Ratchet is immersion. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. This is this is full on intentional discomfort in video game storytelling. If it's the theme of the journey. This is cool. I I like I like how um I like how well they filled out this environment. Oh my god, it's just so much love went into this game. You know what? Really quick. Just because I'm taking my sweet ass time with this. There was a nice there was a nice little uh there was a nice little cheat code skin. Are there any more? I'm gonna look it up. Don't forget the hyphen between spider and man. Yo, Penny. I don't know if What's I up? saw it wrong, but if you leave Ratchet title, does he play with his pompadour? I doubt it. I I wouldn't think so. Um, there's Elite Ratchet. There's a bunch of Ratchet skin. As far as I can tell, there do not seem to be any other Ratchet skin cheats. Okay. Oh, uh, that's fine. Mm-mm-mm. <clears throat> Someone said, I think you get a skin for playing Quest for Booty. Uh. Mm, doesn't seem like it. Would it be, I mean, would it just be in here? There's nothing, nothing's really unlocked. Um. <clears throat> Alright. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Afternoon! <laughs> It's like the it's like the first up teaser trailer, where uh. Your starship is not. <laughs> what's his name? I almost called him Clark. Where um. This universe has ever seen. I'm gonna stop powers not to be taken lightly. Can you keep a secret? Carl, yeah. <laughs> where uh, where you see where you see the balloons flying up, and then you see the top of a house. And then you see the full house start to float by, and uh, Carl is sitting on the porch, and he goes, Afternoon! And then the entire house passes by, and you just see the sky, and then the, the title, Up, fades in. It was the first teaser trailer for Pixar's Up. And I remember, I was a stupid kid. I watched that, and I thought, Huh, that movie looks stupid. 
Yes, I can keep a secret. The Sony are powerful creatures, capable of almost anything, Mal. But they are also hive minds, and must be kept together for their energy to work. Inside is a vessel, which will allow you to rescue lost Zoni, and harness their bio What was that noise? Rescue <laughs> lost Zoni! anything. Okay. There, th this, I will say... They're giving me a lot of world lore in this game that I, given the I, the format I've chosen for this stream, which is talk about anything at all times, uh, I'm I'm having a little bit I'm 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 having a little bit of a tough time absorbing we some have of this. To seal you inside until you recover the vessel. Are you sure you don't want to stay here? Well, we have a lovely miniature golf course. I'll be fine. Quark, link into my nav unit. We'll stay in radio contact. Copy that. Operation Red Shirt is a go. All right, let's go. You must have Ratchet and Clank Quest Reboot and save game and the game installed in your hard drive to unlock this. Oh, I, li I literally, I've, I've deleted every single game once I finished it to make space. It's too quiet in here or everything's going to be all right. That's funny. God, why, did, why didn't they put in-game, like, in-level subtitles? That... That's really that that's killing my vibes a little bit right now cuz like I I keep like hearing I keep cuz it's like cuz cuz they talk Let's hope this vessel is worth it. That's what I'm saying they talk fucking dimension by Orvis and entrusted to the Fungoids. Any sure it'll fix Aphelion? He said it'll do a lot more than that. Sony Bioenergy is the most powerful resource in the omniverse. They talk so fucking much so far, and I also have to talk. It is literally my job to talk over this video game. And like, we can't keep competing for this space. If they had subtitles, I would not feel nearly as bad or like feel nearly as like intruded upon. But like, I want to be able to hear what they're saying, and also I want chat to hear. I have to leave stream now, but here is a donation before I go smile. And also, also donations sorry for talk. About Ratchet Terrell. <laughs> Thank you so much. Lost little creatures. See if you can grab one with your wrench and stuff it into the vessel. Okay. Got it. Nice work, Ratchet. Operation Red Shirt is a success. Just capture a baby. Yeah, no, we just grab it. It's just ours. It's just our kid now. What do we name it? Sony Zoni. Sony Zoni, the fan of My Little Pony. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, gotta grab him. Gotta grab him. Whee! Someone said Tony? I like that. They, I mean, this ratchet definitely feels like he would name his son Tony. This is Tony. Can we name every Zony? Okay, so the first one is Tony. This one is Jeffrey. Yeah, for, that was the first one I saw. I mean, you survived. <laughs> I told you we'd do it. Well done. The vessel is yours. Come, there is one more Zoni we put in the old armory for safekeeping. Our guards discovered it wandering around the waterfront. It can help. I'm, so, I'm sorry I jumped so much, just idly. I, I'm noticing there are there are a lot more instances in this game where like people are kind of just standing around. I'm used to like just fucking moving. Ready to let those stallions out of the stable? I was born ready. <laughs> I believe after the various was clear as to the repercussions of leaving your hovel, the clock is ours. Whoa, uh, wait. Who? Dr. Nefarious has no authority. Oh, we called him Azimuth. In fact, I'm not even entirely convinced he's a real doctor. So return my sidekick's pal before I bring the thunder. Bye. You win again, technology. 
Uh oh. What the fuck? Oh my god, he just he just grew his sideburns. <laughs> Ratchet went. <laughs> he grew out his sideburns. Hell yeah. Oh, we actually. Yeah, we actually get to track the stats now visually. That's so. That's so nice. Um. Okay. As much as I love the skin, I am going to switch back to the normal one for for just a little bit. Um. I kind of. I kind of want to. I want to immerse myself in the in the world and the universe of the video game. The villagers, we have to stop them. Why does this guy keep making that sound? <laughs> Is that is, is that a tick? Does he have does he have a fucking Does he have a uh What's it a, a verbal verbal tick? I'm down. He has a stuffy no is I'm sorry. The noise you make when you when you clear your nose, your stuffy nose, is it? Do you make that noise? Is that par for the course for you when you when, uh, clear your nose? I don't like. I don't know physically how making that noise. <laughs> Someone said, "I will now." What out of spite? <laughs> like just to just just to retroactively prove me wrong? I don't even know, prove me wrong about what? I'm not making like a sweeping statement here. I was just asking because I found that kind of funky. Yeah, no, this this dude's got this dude's got Tourette's. One hundred percent. That's my head cannon. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I, that, that, that lined up, it felt like I hit him so hard he accidentally shot magic. You know what? Fuck you, Mlams, when clearing my nose. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't like the phrase, clears my nose. I, I, it's, it's like you're, you're crossing the streams on that one too much. I, d I do like how clearly designed for the bomb these uh, these little guy swarms are. I'm like actually switching weapons right now. How do they do that? How are they doing that? How are they actually en encouraging me to... Switch weapons. 75% of people in chat just voted in a poll saying that yes, they do mim when they clear their nose. I think everybody is, are, you're, all, you're all fucking liars. Did I die? I died. Oh my god, I didn't even, I, th I thought a cutscene activated. I, I literally, I thought a cutscene activated. I didn't know I died. That's embarrassing. I was too busy looking at the chat poll. And it's extremely dishonest results. This election was rigged. <laughs> sorry, fuck. I'm sorry. Fuck, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no. I can't do that. I I was just I was just remarking. I was like, why don't people ever want to sponsor me? <laughs> Oh 
man, okay. The, the, you know what? This mode, it's well-intentioned. I think it is completely useless <laughs> against this guy. And also, just kind of in general. Maybe not completely useless. I, f I feel like it's writing it off too early. Too it's just too slow. Defend the Fongoids from Lord Vorsalon. In here. It's like some Rick and Morty shit. You know, this did come after Rick and Morty, and thus, you know, that's a... No, 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 get here! So there's Tony, uh, Jeffrey... This guy's Todd. Well, this is the last shred of technology in the entire village. I was always <laughs> meaning to dismantle it, but now I'm glad I didn't. This teleporter will take you back to your ship. Well, follow me! Meow. Ba -ba -ba -da -da -ba. Y'all, I literally I I had to like 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 cough for a second. Use this I had to like cough for a second. So I literally like I so like normally when I have to like cough overtly, I try to mute my microphone. And it's pretty easy to just like mute it really. I have an Elgato wave, so like it has the like the touch mute button at the top. I shit you not. And, I, and I've done this a million times. I've gotten pretty good at just tapping it as a mute real quick. Tapping it once to mute, untap, like tapping it to unmute it, right? It's just two taps. I kid you not. I just tapped the top of my microphone six times and missed the mute button every single time before I actually got it to mute. Like, Sherlock would go crazy with his theories about me. Like, I am, uh, to Sherlock, I am an alcoholic. Like, in, like instantaneously, that's who I am. Like, you know? Vessel to repair your starship. I have to live with that. I, like, in the eyes of Sherlock, I just displayed pure blind alcoholic energy. I I think about that it, like cuz I I don't drink a lot of alcohol. I don't I don't entirely abstain from alcohol, but I like I don't I don't drink alcohol often, right? And I've, and I've never been drunk before. But I miss my charge port on my phone all the fucking time. <laughs> and I Every single time I scrape up against it, I think, oh man, Sherlock is so disappointed in me for my alcoholism. <laughs> oh, Shiloh, thank you so much for the five tier one gift subs. I think that every single time. Aphelion, the Zoni repaired Aphelion, yay! You're not capable of interplanetary travel. Collect Zoni to unlock ship upgrades. Man, you know, I feel like No, I I was gonna I was gonna make like some like crazy can Oh my god, gold, gold, gold! Fuck what I was saying, gold! Gold celebration! I feel like we need a gold emote. Oh, but we're we're about to Oh man, I should have thought of that like way early on. We're about to like run out of Ratchet and Clank games to play. <laughs> and thus, we're about to run out of golds to collect. I should have thought of that so early on. You know what? I'll 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 I'll, I'll make a Golt emote um, before Rift Apart comes out. So someone like if if I don't do it, like if Rift Apart is like swiftly coming out and I have not announced that I made a Golt emote, like pester me about it. I'm genuinely asking because I want that. I I want to be playing Rift Apart, and I want I want chat to explode with Golt emotes whenever um. Whenever we get one, I think that'd be so fun. It might it might have to be temporary though, because I, I can't see it having any other use except for Rift Apart at this point. Um, okay, I think mean, we did pretty thorough with this one. Let's go. Did 
just play a Mario? Stars and gold are the same? They're not. One of them is a bolt and the other one is a star. The silhouettes, you know, the, the one of the most important things in character design is a silhouette. Character design, that's what I meant to say with my mouth, is a silhouette. Quark, come in. Do you read me? It's good to hear your voice, Ratchet. They've got us in these containment cells and they're coming with food. Oh, thank heaven, they're coming with tap water? You animals! <laughs> it's you it's me. Listen to me! I oh my god, that's actually me! On your belt. Can you do that? Good. Now hang tight. I'm on my way. That's so funny. That is. That's. Mmm. What the hell? Okay. Oh, ship segment. Okay. Oh, it's. Oh, it's like a. Like a full on ship segment. Oh, I can't. I can't. Road like go up and down though. I. But what the hell? <clears throat> Wait, wait, what is happening? Welcome to the galactic map? Fucking what? This amazing navigation tool allows you to jump to new sectors or any planet you've been to before, as well as track down valuable collectibles. Each sector of the Briga system features places to explore and missions. Is it just like a hub world? Did they they made a space hub world? What? There is no fucking way they made a space hub world for this game. That is so good. What? Incomplete. This is... what? That's... yeah, that's the planet we just came from. And... uh... I'm... I'm like freaking out. That's so good. Morning. Hostile ships detected. Point of origin appears to be the same as Captain Quark's nav beacon. Okay. Oh, you can, you can, I was gonna like, how do you, how do you speed up? You speed up a pigeon forward. Yo. Yo. I, I did not remember this at all. Okay, I feel like the uh, the actual ship controls are not the best they've ever been. They're they're so simplified. Like the, these are like the most simplified that ship controls have ever been in these games. Um, I was so this they're gonna take a bit of getting used to. Um, but this is so cool. I really really admire this. What, wait, but just, can I just like explore for a second? Like, I. What's. What, it, what are these green dots? What are. What. What are these? I. No, okay, I'll. I'll, I'll go. I, I. I feel like we're still early, so we, we, we'll probably have some of this other stuff explained to us later on. Let's go. Ba, ba, ba. I like how they, they, they give you a nice little overview on the loading screen. That helps. I didn't actually read it, but it'll help when I do. Oh, so that's a nice starting uh, angle. Wow, they really... Um... I'm at the ship. Where are they holding you? I don't know. It's a big cell with some sort of... 
sort of containment field. Oh, it smells like my high school gym locker. All right, maintain radio silence. I'll contact oh. you when I'm inside. Oh, this is back. Oh, cool. They brought that back from Quest for Booty. Um, they... They, uh, they, 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 uh, what was I gonna say? They, they're really, um, varying the, the, like, the, the camera distance on Ratchet in this game so far. Like, like, they're, they're, you know, they're, they're switching things up just, like, on a, on a case-by-case -case basis. I, I, that's really cool. They're, they're getting all customized with it to suit the level design better. That, that feels good. That's some, some good polish. I, again, I have to say, so I'm getting the impression that... So much intense love and work and passion went into this game. Um, in a way that is just so apparent from the get-go. Was there, um, is there a weapon sender? No. Oh, there's one coming up. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. This is fun. Whoa. Whoa. Look at us go. Ha ha. Attention, troopers. We have just learned that the rebel Azimuth has escaped our troops once again. I have spoken with Dr. Nathalius, and he has agreed to raise the bounty to 50,000 volts. Dead or alive. I am an engineer. I fix it up. How? <laughs> I'm glad. Good to know. I'll keep that in mind if I need something fixed. Was he wearing his O2 mask outside? Oh hell yeah! I missed it, but uh, that's a good, that's a good callback. That was also. Did you see that little fucking? He did like a little, a little turnaround there. That, that almost just. That almost just sounded so much like the Insomniac Spider-Man theme. Did y'all hear that? Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 That would have been weird to hear in this game. Bye, I guess? I guess that was too close to it. Yeah, you'll hear it's like, ba, 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 ba. It's like one note. Oh my god, my voice just died while I was trying to sing that. Ba, 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 ba. It's like really close. That's fair. I mean, hey, listen, you know, there's only there's only so many melodies that can exist. Like the the range of music that like you know technically kind of universally sounds good and like note combinations and stuff like. It's it's expansive, but it's also finite. So we'll we'll run out eventually. I I have literally feared. It's it's and this is like a weird like kind of irrational fear of mine because in the grand scheme of things, human memory cannot encompass the entire library of of musical existence, right? So, but like, I've had like this fear for a while now that. We're actually dauntingly close to hitting the limit on the amount of melodies and like musical combinations that can exist. <laughs> like, because I feel like more and more I'm hearing kind of like repeat things. And I, but like realistically, it's probably just because more and more I'm thinking about that kind of thing. Um,. But at the end of the day, again, I guess it's like, it's completely irrational. It really, even if we were, like, it doesn't matter. Like, I, I feel like there's always something you can do, right? And, and honestly, even if that thing you can do has technically already done before, there's no guarantee that by the time someone else repeats that thing, that the original version of that will even, like, be remembered by whatever culture the retread exists in, right? Like, I, I... Which sounds a lot more cynical and kind of, like, bad when I say it like that, but I mean more in just, like, a... In the vast expanse of time, again, human... Human memory and knowledge and recording can only 
only go f for so long and only cover so much of the expansive musical possibility. And you know, eventually, there are gonna be a lot of people who forget about certain songs. Hi there, Mr. Zircon. Welcome to the Chromonet Weapon Shop. Dynamo of Doom and Tesla Spikes. Okay. Well, let's watch the preview. Mr. Zircon is the perfect companion for spontaneous treks through hostile alien environments. Uh oh. Looks like these guys are hungry for Lombax soup. Well, not to worry. Just deploy your Mr. Zircon, and he'll target any hostile entity. <laughs> Mr. Zircon is looking to kill you. Hey, deal with you. Mr. Zircon, available only at Grummelnet. I mean, we all know how Mr. Zircon works, but I, I just all figured, right, like... What can we do you for? It'd be fun to watch the previews anyway. I'm, I'll probably watch every preview. Like, they're so fun and well animated. Uh, all right. Deep Zircon deep. time. Let's get him out here. Come on, bud. Mr. Zircon. Hi, Mr. Zircon. Yeah, that's right. You do your you do your funny voices, okay? Also, I keep, I keep forgetting to restock. Why am I forgetting to restock on ammo so much this game? Can you reskin Mr. Zircon? No, it, it has to be a uh, construct constructo whatever the fuck. It has to be a constructo fuck brand to uh, be customizable. You're saying All Star will eventually be made again? Yes, that is what I'm saying. I am saying All Star will eventually be made again by some future society. And also, on top of that, society as it is will likely not remember <laughs> All Star as it originally was. And so the new All Star will be hailed. As just what it is on its own terms. This is my theory. <laughs> I would never forget All Star, someone just said. Like, <laughs> like I just. <laughs> Like, like I just recounted like a true tragedy and told them that they were, you know, they were, they were weak to regard it with such high frequency and, and reverence. In time, history will forget about this tragedy. I will never forget. I will never forget the Battle Bus Massacre. Stop! <laughs> You're being annoying! <laughs> I was playing Fortnite earlier and I forgot to thank the bus driver. Alright, Alexa, ban yourself. Well, that that feels that feels like it took a little bit. Did we get a health upgrade before this? I genuinely can't remember, but it feels like they've been taking a lot longer this game. Okay, uh, we'll restock again. All right, Chief. Welcome. Oh no! Don't <laughs> fuck. It took longer, but gave you more. That makes sense. I I can get behind that. It's a rebalance. Just just picking out these guys while I have the chance. Hmm. 
my god, there's all those crates down there that I just are not broken, apparently? Do they respawn or something? Ooh. Just letting you, just reminding y'all, my health is full. Oh, we're close to an upgrade on this guy. Oh, I need to keep uh, Mr. Zircon out here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, give me like one more guy. Damn it. I'm having I'm having a good time with this game. I'm like <laughs> this is like super super good so far. The 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 love and care put into this game and just like the polish on all of the rough points of even just like its presentation and like mechanical soundness so far has been just like so apparent. How does this compare to Up Your Arsenal? I mean, I'm st I'm still like like what less than an hour in, maybe just over an hour. Like I I I'm not going to I'm not gonna make any like full up your arsenal Work. comparisons yet, because that's like a once I finish the game conversation. Who is Alistair Azimuth? I don't know, some rebel. All right, we'll find out what you can. If he's an enemy of Nefarious, he might be a friend. Wait, do we just get a, we got a Rhino Hollow plan? I completely missed that. We did. What the hell? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10. Collect all 10. Wow, okay. Well, we're doing it. I just saw someone say the best rhino, and then almost immediately after, someone else said, too bad it's the worst rhino. <laughs> I, you know, the Ratchet and Clank fan base is a diverse fan base full of many differing opinions. I can get behind that. We'll see how I feel about it. Y'all gotta give me this bomb upgrade. Y'all gotta give me this bomb upgrade. Come on, thank you so much. I feel well fed now today. Ooh. Oh, I like the slow motion it does for a second. Just picking this guy bit by bit, and I've wasted all my ammo by doing that. That's great. Oh, more. Here it comes. More of that. That's not working out. Zircon, get out there. Zircon, get out there. Thank you. Alright. Let's finish you off with that. Ooh. Dude. Mr. Zircon, did you just, like, wipe out these guys? Oh, oh, no, you were probably shooting these things, which I now realize I probably should have been shooting as, like, a more reliable way to kill them quickly. They got bomb barrels in this game. In a way. In a way! 
It's just like my life. In a way. I'm really glad they've started giving us the, uh, the, like, the gravity, or the magna boots, whatever they're called in this game, uh, right off the bat. That's helpful. Um. There's, like, just so... I, I feel like there's... I want to search every nook and cranny here. I don't want to miss anything. I'm gonna miss stuff. But I'm gonna try not to. If I can. Unless I eventually decide that I'm fast-tracking it. Which I, I reserve the right to do. But as of right now, I don't want to miss anything. Oh shit, no bad idea. Oh, I thought that was gonna be one that exploded. Zircon, it's a fucking stealth mission. Bitch. Um, Sorry, as uh, I my <laughs> I feel like my my skin right now is like weirdly rubbing up against the like the couch material that I'm sitting on in an unpleasant way. <laughs> like 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 and it's like the side of my arm. Like I'm like leaning against the couch arm right now, and like the side of my arm just started to feel really uncomfortable up against the fabric of my couch. I was like, what the... what the fuck? Power failure detected in auxiliary server room. Oh, shit! Whoa! Oh, pfft, That was me. Sorry, I... I... <laughs> I was, I was, I accidentally pressed the R1 button a couple times. I scare myself, I'm scared of my own shadow and or my own bombs. Does it hurt? You know, like the skin thing? Uh, no, it does feel like weirdly, like, hot. Like, weirdly hot. I don't know, I don't know fully how to describe it. But I've shifted the position of my arm. Mission accomplished. What floor, please? Um... Detention wing? Wow. I can't believe that worked. What was that? Nothing. <laughs> Insolent creature! The location of the rebel ever. <laughs> why, why are you making fun of the way I said hot? Oh. Uh oh. It's like bad things are happening. No, I'm not gonna... I mean... I might as well try it. We have enough. I'm, I'm just gonna... Whoa. Oh, it's like a timing! Whoa, weird. Weird. I don't know how I feel about that. I guess we'll see. Green one sidekick! We're saved! I knew you'd come for us. It's good to see you, Ratchet. Now we need to find a way out. What's your name? The child. Hurl yourself into this laser wall as hard as you can. Hey, sir, <laughs> what about the Versifuse? <laughs> oh, I thought she was gonna I thought she was gonna talk to talk as a cork for a second and be like, hey mister, fuck off, I know. Yeah, eat, eat it. it. Everyone follow me! I'll get us out of here! Stay quiet. We don't want to set off the alarm. Alert, alert. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's pretty good. Zircon! Go. Remember the 
the buddy system. I hope the entire franchise gets ported to PS5 when I eventually get one. Yeah, no, I'm I'm sincerely hoping so badly that they um they 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 do another port job of the of at least the original trilogy. Um like I like I I would love to be able to play those on modern hardware so so bad so much. Like uh, but uh, according to Insomniac, apparently, it, so, like, to do something like that, that, that is, like, one of the main things they couldn't just, like, do on their own accord. Like, that's literally something they would have to, like, that's essentially something they would have to do as, like, a, an order from Sony. Or, like, like that, that would have to get done by Sony's request specifically. Um, or, or something of that nature that's like a roadblock for them because they mentioned they would they want to do it um, But I, I guess there just hasn't been enough like active outcry for it or uh, Sony just isn't interested at the moment But uh, I I do hope it happens like I mean I feel like now more than ever would have been a really good time for it given this big new game in the series is coming out and is very likely to be the only game on this generation the only ratchet and clank game on the generation like i i would not be surprised if this is the last one we get for a while um ratchet and clank games have gotten like seemingly just kind of like larger scale but fewer and farther between Like, there hasn't been spin-off games in a while. Uh, the last two were, like, five years apart. It's been even longer since this game, which was the last, like, full non-remake one. Which is, oh my god, that's crazy to think about, because this came out so long ago. It'll be announced the moment you finish the entire playthrough, yeah. Oh my god, y'all, yeah, so... That, that, so that joke, I assume you're making a joke following up on the situation that happened with The Last of Us Part 2 recently. Oh god! Oh shit! Oh, she's vibrating! Oh! There she goes! She's a Um... The situation I'm referring to is, is uh... So, so recently, before I started, or no, it wasn't before I started, partway through this uh, full series Ratchet playthrough, um, I went and I went back to Ratchet Clank 2016 on my own time, and I platinum the entire game. And I played it on PS5, so I, you know, I have a PS5, and I essentially, I packed up my PS4, I have not turned on my PS4 ever since I got the PS5 because every single game I can play from PS4 can also be played on PS5. Um, so I like PS5 essentially replaced my PS4, which has been no great. Um, but the way it works is that a lot of a lot of PS4 games have like frame rate caps, right? And a lot of a lot of games are also capped at 30, 30 frames per second. And the way it works is that if you want a game, the, the PS5 can run games better, but if you want a game to go past its frame rate cap designed for PS4, the developers have to actively go back and patch the game in order to do that. Um, and they have to patch in functionality for the game to recognize that it is being played on a PS5 and uncap the frame rate to 60, right? So initially, you get the uh, hold on. Safety. Wait a second. Okay. Anybody need to use the bathroom? I don't want to leave the loading. The PS5 does not emulate PS4 games. The PS5 does run PS4 games natively. It is just through a, like a different sort of native backwards compatible mode. Em emulating isn't the right word. Em emulating is a little bit different. It's it's utilizing the same sort of like 
general architecture that the PS4 had, which is the only reason why it's backwards compatible in the first place, is because this is mainly just... They're, they're taking it more like, like, like a PC gets upgraded, right? Like, they have the same kind of, like... They have, they have the same kind of, like, uh, architecture primarily, and they just, they, they increase the specs and the, uh, the, the, the specifics and nuances of that architecture to utilize more power and, and more features and stuff. Um, oh my god, this game. Why are video games so loud? Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into the uh, settings for this one. Um, but... Uh, yeah, it was, oh yeah, so, so Ratchet and Clank PS4, originally, um, uh, you know, had, had a 30 frames per second cap, uh, in, in its original release, and up until recently, of course, that remained when you played it on PS5, just because that's, the game was literally coded to have that frame rate cap, um, and, uh, so I played through... And not just played through, I platinumed the entirety of Ratchet and Clank 2016 with a 30 frames per second cap. And the entire time I was thinking, man, it'd be really cool if they updated this game for 60 frames per second at some point while I'm playing this. And then I, f I finished the game. They blocked my escape route. I finished platinuming the game and they Shadow dropped the patch like two or three days later. Like it was so close. And I I was like, oh my god, this is ridiculous. But like it's still really cool. But like I had deleted the game at that point, because I was done with it. I had done everything I needed to do with it. Um So recently, I, I've talked about this briefly recently as well, but I, I've been playing through the Last of Us games. Um and I played through The Last of Us Remastered, and I just finished The Last of Us Part 2 um, the other day, like like a couple days ago. Um, yeah, no, it, it was a couple days ago, because that is very specifically tied to this story. Um, I, I, so, uh, I played through The Last of Us Remastered, and The Last of Us Remastered was a PS4 like, full re-release of The Last of Us, which originally launched on PS3. Um, and The Last of Us Remastered has a 60 frames per second mode. So I was able to play through the whole game at 60 frames per second, which was really neato. Hold on. Um, so, so I, so I played, uh, so I played The Last of Us Remastered at 60 frames per second the whole time, which was great. It felt really good. It was nice. This game is fucking loud. I'm sorry. Is it like, is it kind of loud for y'all? Am I just like, am I just like greatly overpowering the game here? Cause I feel like my ears are dying right now. Um, but, uh, so, so then, you know, so I finished the, the first game, and I was like, okay, time to play. I'm gonna play The Last of Us 2 now. And I, I knew this ahead of time. It's not like this was a surprise to me. But it was something I had to get used to. The Last of Us Part 2 has a 30 frames per second cap on PS4. Um, but, you know, I was like, I'll get you. Oh, no, I upgraded it right as I got a hit. <laughs> it's slow motion. I'm getting slapped. Um, so... Or, no, I meant to do Mr. Zircon. Yeah. Oh my god, he's invisible! Fuck you! So I- so I played through the entirety of The Last of Us Part 2, right? And I beat it two days ago. I- I beat it... Uh, the morning of... What, like... It would've been Tuesday. Um... And then I went to sleep. And, uh, you know, the day went on. I had, I had my thoughts about it, uh, you know, I talked about it. I was just ruminating on it. I was like, yeah, yeah, I played that game. And then, the next, the next day, Wednesday, I think, I think, actually, 
Yeah, it was yesterday. So I remember it happened on my way home from my electrolysis appointment yesterday. I'm on my way home and I glance at Twitter and I see, I see the phrase is 60 frames per second and The Last of Us trending on Twitter. <laughs> and I go, there's no fucking way. Um, yeah, people are saying the sound effects are kind of loud. I'm gonna, I'll turn it like right here. I was like, there's no fucking way. And I checked the tab. I checked the tab. And sure enough, the actual day after, I spent like 24 plus hours total and finished my entire playthrough, The Last of Us Part 2, with nothing left to play. Like, like, at least in terms of like experiencing the story, right? Like, like I, f I beat the game. I rolled credits. The day after I rolled credits, they released, they, they shadow dropped a 60 frames per second patch. And I was furious because it was one of those things where it's like, if I had known it was coming, I would have waited to start the game. And I made a joke tweet about it. And I was like, I was like, oh yeah, so by the way, Great news. The uh, hold on. I was, I was, so I was like, uh, I was, I was like, hey, so I guess if there are any PS4 games that people want to run at 60 frames per second on PS5, let me know so I can be sure to put 30 plus hours into playing and beating them the entire way through so that y'all can get a patch like one to five days later. <laughs> like... That, is ha that has happened twice in a row. The last two games to get 60 frames per second patches on PS5, the last two PS4 games to get 60 frames per second patches, I beat in their entirety like less than a week beforehand. Yeah, I guess I have to play Bloodborne now. Oh my God, Horizon Zero Dawn. I, would, I, I need that. I need that shit. I can't believe Quark is actually useful in this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go to the whatever the fuck they were saying. What is this? Hail ship. Well, if it isn't for oh, it's this guy. Now, what is an upstanding citizen such as yourself doing way out here in no man's land? The smuggler. His name is literally just smuggler. I'm. I'm starting to think that in Tools of Destruction, Smuggler wasn't technically his name, but he, you know, he's the kind of guy who, he's the kind of guy who won't give you his name. Um, but then after Tools of Destruction, now his name is just Smuggler. Like this is, this is him. Um, ask Smuggler if he needs any work done. Do you know anything about these schematics? For the Rhino Five. Oh, they tell you right off the bat in this one. They made a model after the fourth. Far too dangerous, you see. Oh well, yeah, they do. You, 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 you know it when you pick it up. These plans, and I will build it for you. So long as I get to keep the plans, of course. Sure, bud. Are you need your work done? Matter of fact, I am having a bit of trouble. They got like side quests in the space hub world. Sure, I could use the bolts. Glad to hear it, partner. Watch your back now. There's major points of interest like planets and moons. New sector unlocked. Holy shit. Okay, so we're going to the Vela sector. We can warp there. Okay, so okay, I, I, okay. All right, I get it. I get it. So, so they have different sectors as like different smaller hubs and they all have their like individual like moons and stuff. That's so neato. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to some of these. I'm gonna go to some. Also, I will say 
I just completely fucking forgot what he asked me to do. Now, how is a businessman such as myself supposed to... <laughs> Sorry, friend. If I can't operate, I can't afford to pay you. Better go... Oh, I have to destroy ships. Destroy ships where? Over here? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Sensors detect security satellites with net relays. They must be destroyed in order to clear the sector of fighter patrols. This is insane. This is so much more ambitious. What the fuck? Huh! How, do, how 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 do I okay okay I'll get I'll get the little ships first I've been waiting all week for this hope you have a blast honey and remember house of sins is the best space radio station okay we'll keep in mind oh shit I re oh fuck I remember the radio stations how, how did I remember the radio stations but not the actual like hub world I wonder when that I I assume that happens like Maybe in between sectors. Also, thank you so much for the. Do I don't know if I said thank you specifically for the donation, but I, I appreciate it. Whoa! All right, so we know we can do that now. Mm -mm. Oh, oh, I can do it now. Die, 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 die,
if nobody's writing them down right now, y'all gotta start writing these down. So far we have Tony, Jeffrey. No, no, it was, was it Tony or was it Todd? No, it was Tony. It was Tony, or was it Todd? It was Tony, Jeffrey. Steven. Oh, it was Tony and Todd. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, in order, it was Tony, Jeffrey, Todd, and now Steven. Okay. Cool. So, so some- if, like, if, if y'all give a shit about this, y'all better be keeping track for me, because I'm not. I'm a fish- I'm just, like, being honest. I'm not writing it down. You can clearly already tell I'm having trouble committing it to memory. Even though I just said I remembered the last four. I mean, like, you, you just- you just gotta know what you're in for. This seems like it might be a full series ordeal. Oh, I'm- I'm realizing- so these things are clearly... the kind of shield... things, yeah? Or... or is it... Oh, no, oh, 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 no, 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 okay. There's a ship counter. I just... properly noticed. So if we get rid of the last ship here, it should- yeah, okay. Alright, that makes sense. I get the structure now. Oh my god. We just tear through it. We just tear through it when the shields are down. Oh, uh, radio station. There's, a. Uh... Okay. That's pretty cool. Pirate radio. Oh, pirate radio is very promising already. Good evening. I'm Kip Darling. And I'm Pepper Fairbanks. This is so good. What the hell? Wait, hold on. So if we're going to the villa sector... I, I guess we should, like, warp there? I, I don't think we can actually fly there. Yeah, yeah, let's 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 warp. Let's warp. And this I my prediction is that this is going to put us on like an on rails kind of thing. Or not? I'll t I'll, I'll take whatever it throws at me. I'm just, you know, I'm just throwing out my own ideas here. Oh god! Oh fuck! Oh, he's killing him! Oh no, he's killing him in reverse. I'm sorry! I was only trying to help! Yeah, my bad, sorry. I, sc I, I scared Clank by shouting, oh god, he's killing him. You are the robot who assisted me in my escape from Nefarious. What is your name? My name? Um, yes, of course. Sigma 0426A. Uh, but you can call me Sigmund. I'm junior caretaker here at the Great Clock. Forgive me, but what is the Great Clock? Oh dear! We're late! Come! We don't have a lot of time! <laughs> uh, figuratively speaking, of course. Forgive me, but what is the Great Clock? I'm sorry. I, you know... I gotta get it out of the way. If if not now, it would be everyone. hours down the road, and I just sure. feel like Nefarious and his troops just picked up and left after that butler guy tossed you into the hall. Not a very pleasant lot, are they? No, not very pleasant at all. May I ask what the purpose of this facility is? This place? Oh, this is the universe's greatest contingency plan. Meteor pad. Orvis is waiting. Whoa! Uh, so something a little bit meatier than I'm used to. Stupid hypersonic brainwave scrambler. People wonder why we keep this place a secret. These clank sections, they're like they got like they got like his own thing going on right now in a way that's like, whoa. Can Clank actually like once once his shit is kind of fully developed, like can these sections stand 
access to well knowledge. alongside the ratchet sections. Only. Who's to say? Open your optical drive. This is senior personnel. I'm with XJ0461. While you're unconscious, I took the liberty of installing a quantum actuator into your circuitry. It allows you to create multiple selves. Also, I'm now... Oh, no. Oh, fuck. I accidentally skipped it. I meant to pause. I'm now realizing. So, this game seems to be heavily focusing on, like, Clank's own, like, separate kind of origin thing in comparison to Ratchet's own kind of situation here. And... They're introducing the plot of this game, at least from Ratchet's end, very uh, centralized around the idea of rescuing Clank. And now that has me a little bit scared that they're not going to give me Clank as early as I'm hoping they will. Um, so I'm like, I, we'll see. But I'm starting to think, like, maybe they're going to be a little bit more separate in this one? Maybe? I don't know. Um... Okay, so they, so I can make clones hold triangle to use the time pad. Begin recording your triangle actions. Recording. Oh Be shit! Connected. Now activate the other time pad and have your past self open the door for you. Oh my god! Holy shit! Wait. Oh my god! I do. I fucking remember this. Temporal recording initiated. That's that's fucking good. Did you design it? Are you kidding? Orvis was the smart one. Oh my god, this is like already so much better than just like This is already so much better than like commanding separate like NPC bots around. Time pads will also let you record over your past selves. That way you can do everything they did and more. First, initiate recording and open that chamber door. Then, while the chamber is open, end recording. Next, we'll start recording on the second time pad. When your past self opens the chamber, step inside and open the door. Mm -hmm. Now, end recording. Okay, here's the tricky part. Oh, Since right. The self holding the door okay. Open, no, I get it. Yeah, no, I got it. Makes sense. Temporal recording initiated. Yeah, excuse fucking backseating Temporal heavily. Recording initiated. This is You're so, there, so sir. good. Yeah, All so I, you know, the, 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 the sort of gadgetbot puzzles. I honestly, I thought like. The Gadgetbot puzzles were at their best in the first game. I felt like they they were the most like sort of engaging in that one. Um, they they I I feel like they were not the most like puzzly though. Like they were technically puzzles, but like they weren't the most like brain teasing kind of things. Um, but other than that, I feel like. At best, they were inoffensive. At worst, they were just kind of like, all right, what am I doing here? Um, well, in, in Up Your Arsenal, the Clank sections weren't that bad. The Clank sections were all right in Up Your Arsenal. They were just, like, too little to really be fleshed out into anything that was, like, particularly fun. But this is, like... I just want to talk. I just want to commentate my stream. Please. I just want to commentate my own stream. Um, I was gonna. Uh, but but what's what's good about these is that like they feel like they're gonna be really fun, like actively really fun Pretty right neat, off the bat. Huh? That chrono scepter is over a hundred million years old. It's reserved for the senior caretaker. Plank and strafe. Hop into the chamber and I'll initiate the program. Dude, I've just found out I can fucking strafe. Wow, that's amazing, sir. Can you please get in? You're starting to irritate me, and I'm holding a gun. Just like my friend Ratchet. 
Oh, fuck. Hello, Is this mirror's edge? And welcome to your subconscious. I am Orvis, and I've been anticipating your return for quite some time. I do not understand. Have I been here before? <laughs> you didn't think oh fuck! He's got the left. Robot factory, did you? It's his I dad. Created you. Oh, you must have a lot of questions. But first, I have a present for you. Do they have the same voice actor? We go. We have lots to do. Whoa! To take Whoa! <laughs> No, my dear boy, I am a program, a digital simulation of the real Orvis, installed the day you were born in Solana. What? But don't worry, I know all his old jokes. <laughs> this is so cute. Lesson also, one. really fucking I'm visually cool. A time to bomb? Time. That chrono scepter can be used to create time bombs. Try using them to get across to the other side. Why the fuck is Clank like Bravo going off in this game? Zero four six one Bravo. Each bomb contains enough quantum energy to slow down time for just a few moments. Quantum energy is quite unstable, so only one bomb may be thrown at a time. What? Are, what? Are, what are these clips from? It's from oh, it's from tools. Whoa! Oh, what's that from? What's that one from? That's from tools. Okay. What's that one from? That's from tools. Okay. What's that one from? I feel like oh, this me. is also <laughs> from tools. Oh, tones is raining with a party of I literally cannot see that number. I'm so sorry. Sayonara wild, sayonara wild heart. Thank you so much, Holly. Hi. We're playing a Ratchet and Clank feature of Kraken Time. This one is also, I don't know. Wait, is this from Tools of Destruction? That one looks like it's from Tools of Destruction. I think all of these are from Tools of Destruction. Anyway, hey, uh, we're playing a Ratchet and Clank feature of Kraken Time. This is the last full length Ratchet and Clank game that we're covering in this ongoing Ratchet and Clank series playthrough that I've been doing uh, leading up to Rift Apart, which is coming out in like just a, just a couple weeks now. Um, so I've been playing through all the games, or most of the games. And we're, uh, we're starting the, the last big one tonight. Oh, whoa. Whoa, it's like, it's like the Lego games. It's like what you do when it's a Lego game. <laughs> you slap things back into shape. We're a master builder. You're Holly, thank you so much for the raid, by the way. Uh, I hope your stream went well. I fucking love Sayonara Wild Hearts. Temporal manipulation via faster than light particle acceleration. Actually, James Hastic, thank you so much for the five tier one gift subs. Did you say dick? Oh, I said big stick. Oh, okay. I this game is presenting a problem with me as a commentator that time to time, we keep fighting for the voice space. <laughs> A good caretaker protects the equipment at all costs. Yes, but what does the equipment do? All in good time, my son. Now, think of someone you wouldn't mind bonking on the head. Perhaps a buffoon who has made life difficult for you in the past? Hmm. Quark, yeah. <laughs> <Wonderful>. <laughs> there it is. But you can do better than that. Good. Oh, my son. Now, do as the kids say and lay the smack down. Do the kids say that? I've been wanting to beat the shit out of this asshole since game one. Actually, I don't know if that's accurate. More like game two. What if I, what if I give him a time bomb? Oh, wait. This is fucking, well, I can't, I can't aim the time bomb very well. Oh, oh! <laughs> Yo, this is so cool! They just, like, they come, they fucking buffed Clank sections of the game like 11 times over. Bro. This is so good! Well 
done. You How does Clank have God. really good gameplay now? They just completely Did overhauled you know everything that? about oh, him. My. That's so good. This is so good. You I just, I just love the aesthetic of this place, son. too. I this game is gorgeous as well. Good care of this place. But where will you be? This is your facility. No, my dear boy. It's your facility. The great what? I have facilities? I now leave to you. Watch over it and oh. protect it. Fulfill your destiny, XJ0461. Program terminated. Penny aims in these games more than I've seen anyone, which is really funny given at the beginning of the stream I specifically said how useless sir. the it's function is. <laughs> Sigmund, what happened to the real Orbis? He said it's a secret, and a junior caretaker knows how to keep secrets. Oh. Yes, sir. Oh. Ah. Come on, we have an orientation room that will tell you everything you need to know about the great clock. It's also great. Look at his little pose. Look at him go. Fuck yes. We have the magic pencil. Take it easy, it's just a drawing. Teratropes. Teratropes are nasty little creatures. They feed on quantum energy, so they can see your past selves. Oh. So they can fuck up my puzzles. They can eat my puzzles away. I would have helped you out, but I'm not exactly what you'd call a fighter. I'm not a fighter. I'm more of a lighter. I'm more of a biter. Hmm. Looks like the hollow bridge is out. You may have to find another way across. Your past selves can throw time bombs. Too. Oh, I love Just it. Just remember, only one can exist at a time. It's for your own safety. What goes? Oh, I got a skill point for that. That was a good sound. Was it was it a competent chomp sound? You know, I appreciate that. Thanks so much for letting me know. Temporal okay. recording. So I'm gonna send this one across this way. Oh, you know what? I said or well. Okay, wait. That's that feels like a problem. Temporal recording initiated. We gotta race him. Go, go, go. I'll figure this out. It's actually, you know, you know what? This might not be too bad. But as long as I don't throw a time bomb with damn this guy, we should be fine. Keep them away from your I thought self. he said, like, damn it. I thought he was like, damn it! Fuck! Quick, fuck! You're getting pretty good at this, sir. Thank you so much, you know. I've really been practicing my time manipulation skills. I hate you, hypersonic brainwave scrambler, and I'm coming for you. Not now, mind you, but soon, after I take karate lessons and, and I'm... Well, I'm just saying you're on my list, pal. Uh, Sigmund, I believe it is gone. That's right, run away. <laughs> That's silly. Initiated. Okay. Temporal recording initiated. Oh, so this one's interesting. So now I have to... Oh, oh, I have to record myself getting off of it also. Okay. So we'll, um... Temporal recording initiated. Okay. So now I know I have enough time to jump across there. Temporal right. recording initiated. Very good. Whoa! That's oh, these are gonna get really good. I can already tell these are gonna get great. I really like how they waited to give Clank like really long. Oh, I should have been fixing these the whole time. Conduit repaired. Probably get a, a achievement for that or something. Um, I was gonna say uh. I really like how they waited to give Clank like notice, like notably longer sections. 
like since the first game until they had like just something extremely good for him to do. Computer, can you shut down the gears in sector three? Negative. But I will cross my fingers for you. outdated piece of I heard that. That's funny. Oh, I really I, I enjoyed that. Okay, what does this do? So this goes up there. She needs to get across there. And then okay, and then Oh, and then there's a button right there, and we don't know what that does. But we'll figure it out. Okay, cool. So then we'll just start. We'll just start. We'll go ahead. And Temporal record the button. Initiated. Oh, shit. I need to actually... Wait for a second. <sighs> Temporal recording initiated. Now let's see what that Temporal other button does. Initiated. Driver, shut down all the computers in section three. <laughs> yeah. All right, what does this do? Oh, that opens the door. Okay. Cool. Okay, so then we can we can just uh do this. recording initiated. Oh, the the fact that you have to like you have to keep in mind like the the rhythm of what you last recorded so that you yourself can time like your button presses and stuff properly so you don't like actually fuck up the entire movement of your last recording. That's really that's interesting. Those are interesting like puzzle stakes. Unauthorized sonic device has breached monitoring station Zulu. Oh my god, has the stream really been three hours long? What the fuck? How? I swear I was like, oh, we've definitely only been streaming for like two. Oh, this might be an incredibly good game. That Ten was seconds remaining. You should have your own theme music, sir. I could trail behind you and be all like, uh huh. Yeah, no, literally, I, like, I, like, I, I genuinely, like, the fact that I literally just did not realize I have already been going for three hours, like, this might be a good game that is about to just, like, devour my time. <laughs> Sir, watch out! It's the hypersonic brainwave! The hypersonic brainwave scrambler! I love that line. That, that delivery is iconic to me. Your time has oh, come, shit. hypersonic brainwave scrambler. Let us dance. Watch out, sir! Ooh. He's using a sonic burst emitter! Ooh. Stupid brainwave scrambler! Do you know <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe that Clank has melee boss battles part. in this game. Senior caretaker of the great clock! <laughs> yeah! Kick his butt, sir! Watch out, sir! Terratropes! Clank just does fucking sword fights in this game. It's a really good nefarious voice. Thank you. I think Penny practices nefarious before every stream. This is uh, this is not true. I was off the fucking cuff, baby. I mean, I've done it a couple times before, but. Hey, no, it's just, it's just, I mean. With that much effort. Jesus Christ, this kid. You know what? He's enthusiastic, and I'll 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 give him that much. He's got he's got spirit. I could really use some health right now. Oh boy. You know what? Well, clearly there's not any health around here, so maybe I'll just focus on not getting hit as a better option. Oh shit! One more. One more. One more, one more. Ha! Bop! Bop! One hypersonic brainwave scrambler. Oh, look scrambler. at that! That's his little... <laughs> oh, that his amazing, little thing sir. he did! With his, with his little 
little swing motion. That was so cute. You <laughs> Lawrence! Let's try this again! Might of the Living Squishies, Act 3, Scene 4. Ready on set? I should never have quit dental school. And action! <laughs> You'll never take me alive, Quack! Time is under my control! Am I he's, he's making a movie. I'm rehearsing my epic romantic action comedy, Space Opera. Silly me, sir. I just thought it prudent to tell you Clank is en route to the Orvis chamber. Sir. <laughs> Splendid! The <laughs> moment we've been waiting for is now. Now, if there's nothing else to discuss. There is one small matter. Oh shit! That's literally some small matter. I don't have the capacity for <laughs> There it is. I was cursed by a tribe of that. Ah! Sorry, I didn't. I what I. I know that. I, I, I off the cuff had to censor the slat. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Might I suggest engaging the safety so as not to kill any more troops? It's not even loaded, you moron! <laughs> Did you say the word sluts, Penny? No, I said slur. If I said sluts, it would have been much more overt. That's so... that's extremely good. Now entering Viva Center. Uh, Work here. I've been doing a bit of investigating, and it looks like Azimuth lives in a decommissioned mining robot on Torin 4. God, there are Got so it. many, Thanks, like... Mork. I'll head over there now. So many... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, this music. Whoa. Okay. I'm just gonna take a second. I love this. This is extremely good. What is okay? So then, what's the other? House of Synth was the one that one person recommended. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I'm, I'm, yeah, no, I'm, I'm cat jamming in real life right now. My head is bobbing. Okay. It was Polaris classical? I assume it's just the game OST. Yeah. Wow. Okay, well, I'm gonna go with a uh, pirate radio for a little bit. God. Yeah. Oh my god, that's so good. What is up with just how much content? Look at how much stuff there is. Good evening. I'm Pip Darling. And I'm Pepper Fairbanks. I like don't want to get out of this ship. I want to listen to this. We've just received word that an unidentified Lombax has been seen in the Phylax sector just west of the Brigus Nebula. Our mildly <laughs> talented Pepper Fairbanks has the story. Thanks, Kip. You rusty old has-been. <laughs> what the fuck? Moments ago when seismic scanners picked up a lot of Lombax, Girl boss. Our station manager has a hollow pick of the lumbax and oh he is cute way to be professional pepper bite me kip and now back to our regularly scheduled programming <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> Oh, Peach is spilling frog all over the switchboard. 
Oh, the actual pirates are hosting the station. That's so good. Yeah, no, it's the boys. This, oh my god, this game is really fucking good. I'm like, I am shocked. I, I did not realize they like upped the, just the scope like this. This is insane. God, this music is so good. Oh, it keeps playing when we get out! Yes! Oh, fuck yeah! That's... Oh, genius developers. Genius developers. Insomniac, best fucking developers of all time. Confirmed. Why am I, again, why am I not, oh, it's because playing as Clank, I'm like, I, I don't use guns as Clank, so. Oh my god, this is so good. Oh, oh, there's an enemy counter. Okay, so this is just kind of a kill them all planet. I'm down, down for it. Well, in that case. Does Penny usually take a break around the four hour mark? Uh, my breaks are not. Uh, consistent. I, I, I kind of just take a break whenever I feel like it. Um, some streams don't have breaks at all. Some streams have multiple. It, it really depends. Um, I might take a break in, in a second, because I, I don't think I'm going to stop playing anytime soon. I'm, I'm officially just, like, enraptured by this right now, so. This is, this literally, oh my god, this is so far... This is exactly what I hoped it would be, just in terms of, like, taking the kind of, like, the spirit of what Tools of Destruction was trying to do, or at least trying to start, and, and just, ex like, completely nailing the, the ambition of it, and, like, like, working it into a more polished, more fully realized kind of design. What the hell is this song? This is so good. Pirate Radio is the best. No, no contest. Pirate Radio is officially the best one. I'm sticking with that one. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, we got one for the bomb. Contact in time. Oh. Okay. I can't see myself using timed. All that much, so I'll, I'll keep it on contact for now, but... Holy shit. That's so good. Alright, let's 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 go. Let's keep going. God. Oh my god, this rules. This fucking rules. Rescue more zoning to upgrade your ship, add special weapons, and travel through treacherous areas of the Brigus system. Uh, doesn't it tell us where the... Yeah, it tells us where the different zonies are. Okay, so completed that one. We're about to get to... Can I... How can I tell where my ship... Oh! Oh, that's my ship right there. Uh... There's only right here, so we'll go here. Is this like an emulate? No, this is native PS3. This is just a legit copy of the game purchased on PlayStation Network. There's that Zony. Fucking losing my mind at how cool this space, this whole space section, is insane. Hey, Penny. So glad you're liking this game. 
Five inch radio tunes on the moons is so great. I, yeah, no, this is the, the vibes here are immaculate. In, they're insanely yeah. good. Thank you so much for the donation, by the way. Holy shit, this, this, this riff? These riffs? Some of the songs do flag copyright in YouTube videos. Fuck. Well, I wish someone had told me <laughs> ahead of time. Um, well, I mean, part of me is just, you know, I'll, I'll see how bad it is after this first archive. Um, Obviously, you know, at the end of the day, so I, I guess like, so here's the thing. Um, I do, you know, I do make, I do make income off of archives. So it, it is important to me that most archives are monetized. Um, on most occasions, I feel like the money I make from actually broadcasting the stream, if the tip goal is met, is more than enough to make up for like whatever um whatever uh, whatever you know i might lose if the video is not monetized the songs are licensed oh that makes sense um if it's just an issue where the video will like just be unmonetized, then, um, you know, I, I might just kind of, like, deal with it. Um, if it's just a monetization thing, that's not a big deal for me. I might still consider not using the radio stations then if, if that's a problem, but, like, it's a little bit easier to swallow if it's just a monetization thing. I, I just don't want the VODs to get, like, blocked. I feel like that would suck a little bit more. And at that point, I would definitely switch. <laughs> Edit C Shanty. I I literally could not. <laughs> the the way these are broadcasted, I couldn't do that. Last donation for the night. Gotta help reach that tip goal. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate it. My name's Poofy, how's it going? Oh my god, this planet. I, okay, so this is very much like, so they got like, platforming challenge planets. They got like, enemy wave planets. These are all just kind of like, these are kind of like, the, like individualized versions of like, um, the like obstacle course slash like arena challenge stuff from I think it was Going Commando that had that one planet. I forget what it was called, but it was like they had like the dedicated obstacle course that would like kind of get switched around every so often. Oh, it was from up your arsenal. Annihilation. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't. It was Annihilation Nation because Courtney Gears was there. Yeah. Yeah. Th this is kind of like taking that um, and like splitting it off into different planets in a way. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go to the next story point. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, this is incredible. Like. I'm about to go fuck things up to save my friend hype music right now. This, I actually, I'm not gonna land yet. This is such a good song. What the fuck? Okay, no, I'm gonna land. I have to, I'm not gonna say, uh, Jesus Christ. This is so good. Ugh. 
Ratchet has been mistaken for Alistair Azimuth, the rebel who has been causing trouble for Dr. Nefarious and his mercenaries. Dermot discover Clank's exact location. Ratchet has been now hinted to Torin 4 in hopes of finding the mysterious outlaw and recruiting him. Oh, so we're finding, we're finding Azimuth. I might remember this level. I'm looking at it right now. This is one of those like kind of, this is one of those kind of like ghost, like specter flashes of like a visual in my mind I had from the one time I played this game as a kid that I was talking about. Come in. I just landed on Torn 4. Do the Fungoids know where I can find Azimuth? Oh, his mouth isn't moving. Chief, oh God, uh, immersion something, shattered. Something says he's Zero out of 10 game. Volgrim Pass. Volgrim Pass. All right. Maybe someone around here can point me in the right direction. See what else you can find. I'll be in touch. Roger that. Work out. Discovered a camo crate. Oh. Whoa. What are these two? Look for more camo crates to find hidden bolts. Oh, okay. Bobinous bolts. You grab these. I could use with a bolt range upgrade. I assume we'll get one at some point. Um. Is this progress or that looks like it's progress. Uh wait, let me examine that first since it's right there. Ba 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 da ba. Yeah, this actually this this looks like um one of the planets we've seen in Rift Apart. God, oh that's so cool. That oh I'm so fucking excited. This is so great. Oh wait. Oh no, this isn't progress. This is so weird. I love it. There's these frozen in time moments. Okay, so this is the way we go. What's the structure of this level like? Whoa! Neato. I like it. That looks that looks like a promising level structure. This game, this fucking game. They might have done it. Hi, talk to Vullard. Greetings, outsider. What brings you to Mononoth? Mononoth. Uh, none of your business, fucker. I'm looking for Vulgrim Pass. Vulgrim Pass? Surely a peaceful adventurer such as yourself has no business in such a dangerous place. But if you insist, it is just beyond the hollow to the east. Ask the Guardian for entry. The Guardian! <laughs> uh... What is this place? A place of rebirth. The trash of one becomes the treasure of another. Much like the ruins of Malinoth, eons ago, those wasteful fungoids abandoned their city and took to the soil, leaving all technology behind. Okay. What do you know about Flint of Orsalon? He was the Terraclown's greatest assassin before a defeat on Zorak robbed him of his body. Now he's almost entirely mechanical and sells his services to the highest bidder. What do you know about Nefarious? Ah, yes. I have heard such a name before. It is said he arrived on a ball of fire. A comet, perhaps, and claim the Bernalia Sector for his own. Okay. Uh, on a comet, so like where we 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 last found him in up your arsenal. Like like that's that's kind of where we left off. He was stranded in space indefinitely, and then he uh, plummeted somewhere. Hey <laughs> I was literally just about to s I was just about to say why is there no music on this planet? Where you left him? Yeah, where we left him. 
floating to his demise, slowly. Ba 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 hiya. Um, I'm also now just realizing they this is the this is the first one where they like fully re-recorded his uh his wrench voice lines and like general like gameplay voice lines because even in tools of destruction they were still using um or well like i guess i didn't listen super closely in quest for booty it could have been then but i know in tools of destruction at least he was still using um like they, they like they were still using the clips from the fucking first game like completely different voice actor yeah Bella. Have you in the hollow? I'm looking for Volgrim Pass. Mm, Volgrim Pass, where the exile dwells. It is beyond this hollow, but we do not grant entrance to outsiders. They must find it for themselves. Okay. I mean, gladly. I have a map for that kind of thing. I'm pretty good at finding stuff. Did you see how many gulps I got on that first planet? Oh. 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 Quark, I don't think that's such a good idea. Normally I'd agree with you, but the Mongoids insist that I leave as soon as possible. Kevin. Thanks for getting me through some boring work days. Aw, oh, Xena, thank you so much. That is so fucking generous. I really appreciate that. And I am uh, happy to be of service. That's super kind of you. Thank you, thank you. Is that goal? Reach goal? Thank you so much, everybody. That really means a lot to me. Thank you. Oh. Oh, what am I? Oh. Oh, I see. Oh, no, so I should do this first. Okay. No, fuck. Fuck, all right, well. Oh, you gotta, that, that timing window is like, Nearly exact. You have to nail that. Grind boots! Grind boots! Grind boots time! Woohoo! Man, the music in this level is like nearly non existent. I. I so, so this is the first game with the new composer, I think. Um, and uh, I will say, I'm missing, I'm missing the vibes. I'm missing the vibes a little bit. I mean, obviously, pirate radio fucking slaps, but the in-level music is a lot more um, understated. Come, you have proven yourself worthy. Volgrim Pass is on the other side of the Hollow, but you must be aware that there is a dangerous exile there. Most of our kind do our best to stay away from him. Why? What did he do? Oh, you know. Attacked one of Nefilis. He broke all of our fucking boxes. The usual rebel stuff. Ah, here we are. Oh, not again. Do me a favor and get that battery bot, will ya? Good for nothing, creatures. Never swing in the pocket. Okay, will do. Uh... 
I actually don't know what he asked me to do, but that's fine. He asked me to grab something. I assume it's a head, so we'll we'll continue on. Oh yeah! Hey, look at that! Oh! I remember this guy. <laughs> I like this guy's voice. Turn to a Felion. It's a ship. Oh! What's he doing here? New weapons? Dynamo Doom. Tell the spikes. Yep, yeah, that's it. All right, preview. The Dynamo of Doom. Now this is a weapon for serious adventurers. Outnumbered by enemies? No problem. Even the score by deploying this remote control door. Once oh. Activated, you can steer it around the battlefield and wipe out the whole lot. Oh, is it? The Dynamo of Doom. Uh oh. Is it six axis? Fuck. Wait, I, there wasn't a, um... There wasn't a motion control option. Uh-oh. It's good without six axis, I swear. Well, my, my problem is that... So, the controller I have plugged in... Technically... Reads as having motion controls. Um... But the calibration, when I have it plugged into this converter, gets so out of whack. Like, insanely out of whack. Um, so if it's a case where, like, if it reads that I'm using a motion controller, and will activate motion based off of that, um, I don't know. I don't know how well it's gonna work. I'll try it at some point, but... Fucking going. Okay. Uh, what are we doing? Battery bots have resulted in running wild around the hollow. Return them to their respective sockets to get the factory working. Right. Okay. Sounds good to me. I fucking remember this level. I like. I seriously. I remember like this aesthetic. Maybe I can figure out a way to fix it myself. I remember the conveyor belts. Like, this is insane. I, I will say I'm getting kind of sick of whatever is causing that, like, high-pitched droning. Not super high-pitched, but... Yeah! <laughs> this is actually where my memories from this game kind of stop. Yeah, no, I, I think me too. Like... This level and like some of the some of the sequences from this level, um, I remember. But then like I I can't really think of much I recall past this point. I'm I'm sure there's gonna be a couple other instances though where I'm like, oh I remember this, but like nothing comes to mind at the moment. I guess that's just the nature of getting reminded of things. what this sound is for, it raises your memory. That makes sense. Aha! Aha! What is this for? Charge. Releases a lethal burst of ammunition based on how long the trigger is held. What? Whoa. Oh, don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> yep, 
you know, I'm starting to think maybe they didn't bring this back because this might... This might have the issue where... Th this might have the issue that, like, Smash Bros. custom moves had in Smash Wii U, right? Where it's like... You think, you know, they, they say, like, ah, oh, we're gonna do custom movesets. And you're like, what? That's fucking awesome. And then... You actually look at all the custom moves, and you're like... I prefer almost none of these to the default moveset. <laughs> like, like... Like, I don't know... I don't know why I would rather use any of these compared to the... Compared to the original ones. Obviously, we got a long ways to go with these, so that, I'm not I'm not making that judgment right away. But so far, that's been the case. Okay, where have I? How can I? How can I tell what? Oh, I can tell where I haven't have not been based on the fact that it's like. Just as like a solid color here, and then it's like actively mapped out elsewhere. Elsewhere, dispatches from elsewhere. That's right. I'm fucking bringing it back. I gotta watch that show again. Oh, it's been too long already. Oh, up here. Oh. Yo, battery bots gotta unionize. They were trying to, yeah. I guess we're, uh... I guess we're kind of playing the role of class trader right now, huh? That's, that's unfortunate. Ratchet the Union Buster. Oh god. And that's how we activate these. Alright, cool. Oh, this- this fucking droning noise is starting to give me, like, an actual headache. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go. Who the fuck is making that noise? Is this like a glitch? I don't- I don't understand why this would be an intentional bit of sound design. Because it is wholly unpleasant. It's part of the soundtrack. What the fuck? If you could see my face right now. What the hell? I I I thought that was a bit of shitty ambience. That was drowning. I thought there was a bit of shitty ambience and there was no music in this part. That's genuinely what I thought was going on. Was that this was like a music-free zone. And the, the designer who designed the sound of the ambience just made like a really shitty decision. That's insane. Alright, this, uh, this new composer kind of <laughs> rolls up my sleeves, getting on my bad side a little bit. <laughs> Where's the other guy? I don't understand that. I'm like, like. <laughs> droning sounds and music are fine, but like, like that is such a harsh and unpleasant thing as like a, as like background music.
Yeah. Uh, 24. Yeah. All right. I think it's likely it stops here. So we'll, uh... Yeah, okay, cool. We're, we're good. That was... That was odd. That was odd choices. All the way around. You know, I'm also I'm I'm noticing um no uh no raritanium upgrades. That's interesting. I am curious if that will come back later or if that was an omission here. We will find out. Cut scene more like butt scene. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, hi. Do you know where I can find Alistair Azimuth? Oh shit. Oh, it's the guy. Uh-oh. Ratchet Pog! Uh-oh, what's going on? Oh shit. He's like, there's uh, fucking, there's no more Lombaxes. You're tricking me. I just want to talk to you. Lies! You're here to assassinate me! <laughs> Who sent you? Orsalon? <laughs> Dude, I'm dead. Dude, I'm dead. You gotta calm down. You gotta you calm down. I'm dead. You won. Me won't be so easy. I just want to talk to you. Lies! You're here Lies. to assassinate me! Who sent you? Orsalon? The Furious? Because they like the spine to confront me themselves. Look at me! I'm a Lombax! The Lombaxes are gone! <laughs> and I know a hollow guy is when I see one! Yeah, oh no, I was actually right. For two seconds so we can talk? I was actually correct. That That's the angle here. This. You're starting to annoy me. How about a barbecue? <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh oh. Fuck! Uh oh! Oh no! Oh no! My console just. fucking. just crashed. Okay. Let's, uh. <laughs> let's, uh. let's get that sorted out. <laughs> How about a barbecue? Explodes my PS3. Oh man, he really didn't want to be caught. Yeah, no, he went. He went meta with his escape plans. Oh, that's insane. Now I probably auto saved. It likely auto saved. They they got like even even in the OG games they got like relatively generous with the auto saves at certain bits. Uh oh. Uh oh. It just crashed again. <laughs> Oopsie. This might, okay. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna give this another go. Hold on. Okay, okay. This is not, this is not, uh, this is not intensely bad. At, at the worst, at the worst, this is a stream ending. Oh yeah! Technical this hiccup. This is happening. Azimuth is responsible for everyone. But not a not a series ending one. Then I guess. Um, this is a uh, this is I I have I have multiple PS3s. Apparently, this planet tends to cause a lot of tra uh, crashes. Okay. Well, 
Looks like we were one of them. Okay, I just shut it down. I'm going to uh, turn it back on. See if it boots up. If it doesn't, uh, I could try booting into safe mode. If that doesn't work, um, we, we, I, I might just, I, you know, I, I could just call the stream. Um, if I, if I can't get this PS3 to work ever again for some weird reason, which is like extreme assumption. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah. It, it didn't even try that time. It didn't even try to turn on. <laughs> uh oh. Is, is this PS3 dead? That would kind of suck. I bought this specifically because I wanted the PS2 backwards compatibility one. Push comes to shove. I have another PS3. My old, you doubt it's dead. Um, okay. Uh, should I try booting in a safe mode? Wow, what a, what a, what a horrible momentum destroyer. <laughs> Okay, uh, PS3, I'm looking this up. PS3 safe mode boot. How y'all doing? <laughs> you liking the game? Unless it was already about to die, I failed to see why it would die to that. Well, uh, yeah, the, the, the fail rate of these old PS3s can get pretty high, and especially over time, it gets more and more likely. I mean, it's kind of a ticking clock anyway. Um, okay, let's see. How to enter safe mode on a PS3. All right. Uh, boo, boo, boo. Turn off your PS3. Yeah, no, I get it. Push and hold the power button until you hear three beeps. Uh... First beep tells you that the PS3 is powering on. After about five seconds, the second beep will signify the video reset. After another five seconds, this, uh, the power of the power light will go red. Repeat holding the power button again, waiting through the beeps. If done successfully, you will, if done successfully, you will hear the first two beeps just before. Third beep will be a double beep. You should see this screen in the safe mode. Okay. All right. Let's uh. two beeps okay that's the third oh oh and then i can oh and oh oh so i i just did the one that turns it off and then i'll do it again that's one two double beep nice okay my twitter is blowing up right now because of a miku my little pony collab oh damn Okay, all right, we're in safe mode. That's a good sign. All right, well, hey, what should we do, everybody? <laughs> should we <laughs> try rebuilding the database? How long will this one take? Rebuild the database, messages, play. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, it just crashed out of safe mode. Oh, shit. This might be a stream ender. This is this PS3 is officially un unsafe mode. This might be a stream ender. Dear, oh, dear. Yeah, I don't I don't know what else. I would tell. Oh, God, Penny, I'm so sorry. I died. Hey, you know what? This is fine. Like I said, I got backups. We can we can pick this up again like before the weekend is up. Sorry for the weird cliffhanger then. Um, that sucks a little bit, but I mean, hey, we got a solid nearly four hours out of out of this stream. So I I mean I feel like that's a that's a decent place to start. Um so yeah, I have a you know, I have my other PS3. It has been pretty consistently functional for as long as I've had it. Haven't had any issues with that. So um, if push comes to shove and this thing is dead, it's not. it doesn't seem to be the yellow light of death, the fabled yellow light of death. What about all your save data though? Um, okay, uh, I have automatic 
save data uploading. If that did not work, which it likely didn't because the game crashed, I'll just play from the beginning on my own time. Like, I didn't get super far again like like without the distractions of like doing commentary and making bits and all that stuff i could easily get to where i was pretty quickly and there's not i you know i could follow the vod see where things like like see certain uh pickups i got no, again this is not this is not a big deal this is this is literally this is just a just a stream ender um which is unfortunate in its own right but i i'm not i'm not too upset about it i'm actually i feel really chill right now so um yeah i i do i do apologize for the um you know that it, it seems to have interrupted the flow of the story we didn't get the <laughs> the best ending man on a crack in time too if it was gonna do it on any of these games why did it have to do it on a crack in time that sucks i was having such a good time um but uh yeah okay so um i'm gonna i'm gonna get going i guess uh we will be back with this real soon i will i'll try to get this up and running again like really soon like um like i'll i'll see if i can get this going again on like sunday uh if, if that's cool i would do it like tomorrow or saturday but we're doing like a lot of dub stuff um those two nights so i i I literally cannot like i already have like previous engagements so um sunday would be the earliest i can do it so uh you know i'll get this sorted out in between now and then um and uh yeah uh we'll uh we'll 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 be back there this is happening sorry about your stapulation it's all good it's all good i i when when i got this one i got this one specifically for the ps2 backwards compatibility and i knew it was a risk I was like, like literally kind of this whole time I have been a little bit waiting for a moment like this. And I don't even know if this one is completely dead. I'll, I'll look up the issue and follow it up and all that. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get going. Um, so, hey, uh, let's, uh, let's see if we can raid. Who's going right now? Mars going... Mars going, Ryan's going, Ryan's currently playing Team Fight Tactics. Mars playing Super Mario World. There's a couple options here. Um Let's raid Ryan. Let's raid Ryan. Uh we got a raid phrase. How about a barbecue? Yeah. Yeah, okay. How about a barbecue? you all right so bop 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 oh just I, I put a v there just for good measure um don't paste in here uh raid chongo show all right uh yeah so sorry about that y'all um i'm not super upset about this like i said i'm gonna get it sorted out really quickly um but uh yeah i i am i apologize for just the fucking weird cutoff point that was the most like anticlimactic unsatisfying way this could have possibly ended but um i feel fine uh thank you all for your patience uh like i said i'm gonna get this sorted out uh in the meantime and we'll get back to this really soon i i still hope you're all very excited to see more i am very excited to play more um (laughs) now now i feel like it 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 took it from me so i'm like i'm i will get this back at any cost um but yeah i really appreciate all your support tonight thank you for helping us reach the tip goal thank you for coming and hanging out in chat uh if this is your first stream i hope you had a great time and i hope you'll consider coming back in the future for more fun times as i always say please be good to yourselves please be good to others as well do something nice for yourself if you haven't in a while have a wonderful day or night whatever it is where you are I will see y'all real soon with some more fun times and real soon, hopefully, with some more Kraken time. Um, Let's go say hi to Ryan, everybody. Uh, Have a good one.